If you're like me and you've just seen Wonka, you are probably obsessed with that song. Uh, and obviously from the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, uh, Gene Wilder, that song is beautiful. Uh, and it was the soundtrack, I feel like, to my childhood. There were so many things that I remember um, in and around that time of my life when I hear that song. So. When Wonka came out in theatres, I was absolutely fingers crossed that they would have this song in there somewhere and that they would do a great job of it. Uh, now, Timothy Chalamet did a wonderful job and the arrangement underneath it is beautiful. Uh, it's very stripped back. There's a key change in the film. It goes up to a different vibe, a different feel. Um, but for the most part, uh, that's the, the crux of it, is what I got there. Uh, now, the original's much more complex, uh, sort of beyond my understanding. There's some guys on YouTube that have really pulled that apart in an amazing way. Um, but I thought I would show you what it's like, basically, from the arrangement I just played for you, um, so that you can at least have a go on your own and enjoy the song like I have. Now, uh, well, basically, in the key of D major. Uh, the first chord is an E minor with, you know, with all sorts of stuff on top, but basically an E minor to an A to a D. Uh, before I forget, uh, I've mentioned this before, but this is my Fender Telecaster. I'm running through a uh, Vox AC15C1X. So it's an AC15 with a blue speaker. Um, I really like it. I've had it for a couple of years now and used it on a uh, bunch of recordings and all that sort of stuff. So it's been, um, yeah, it served me well. Uh, now, as I mentioned before, that even though the verses, you know, they sound pretty basic, E minor, A, D, um, what goes on top of them is what's important. So it's basically a D major chord with an E in the bass. Now, you'd probably add the, because uh, the, the melody starts on a B note here. So it's like a, it's like an E minor, 11 um, because you've got you'd have your normal E minor and to make that an E minor 7 you add the D then you'd add the F sharp to make it an E minor 9 and then you could add the A on top to make it the E minor 13 
different version of it at least. Uh, so E minor 13, you can get away with an E minor 11, even an E minor 9. And then it's an A7 A suspended 4. So you would take the normal A major, make it an A7, so you take out that middle note to make it a G natural there. Then you slide this finger up from the C sharp to the D, which is the sus4. Now, it's called a suspended chord for a reason because it's suspending what's about to happen next. It sounds like it's about to go somewhere. It has to resolve either up or down, so. Or. Uh, and then it's going to the D. Uh, this is one of my favorite chords in the world. It's not just a standard D. Uh, it's a D major 9, okay? So they're all over the fretboard, but I'll show you two. So you've got your normal D major here. Uh, now, if you bar that chord, so you're changing this third fret D to a C sharp. That's a D major 7. And then if you open up this high E, and keep and add these two notes in. That's a D major nine. Uh, so you've basically got uh, it's like an A major chord, but over a D instead of over an A. Um, but the melody for this song in the verses. goes up to the C sharp here. So instead of playing a C sharp down here, we're playing a C sharp on the high E on the ninth fret. So it's actually a D major shape. Slid up to uh, the ninth fret. Then the, uh, the second part of the melody is where you hear it's that E minor 13, not the E minor 11. Um, and that's essentially the verses. Uh, there's lots of wiggle room to add in extra notes and moving chords and whatnot, but uh, the melody is so pretty, you don't really want to add too much to it. Uh, and then you get to, I guess what you'd call the chorus or the bridge, um, the If You Want to View Paradise. Now, again, this is a simplified version, uh, but you'll get the idea. Now, we're basically, um, we're running an A in the bass for the most part. And then the rest of the chord is like a G major. So, uh, to, in its simplest form, you would say this is a G over A. And then it's going from there, and the melody goes from D to E in the top notes there. And there's like an F sharp minor over A as well. going to go to a C7 suspended for and then a C over F F sharp minor and then a B7 suspended for and then it goes to an E that up but you get the idea so the uh, yeah it's so pretty
super pretty song. Uh, I'd encourage you to go check out the original. Check out the new one in Wonka. Uh, it's a really nice arrangement and it, you just can't beat a great melody. Um, it's, it's the thing that makes every song. You can't deny it. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If there's anything you'd like me to break down or challenge me on, uh, let me know. I'd love to hear it and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.